Jones, Dr. B again. Question number eight on exam one in college algebra. It happens to be solving a quadratic equation, but let's be careful, specifically by completing the square. Sometimes you'll be asked to use the quadratic formula or solve by factoring. If they give you a method, solve it by that method. If they don't, do the easiest one. Typically, if you have x squared minus 2x minus 2 equals 0, look at that. That looks like it's in standard form, where you have a coefficient in front of x squared, coefficient in front of x plus a number equals 0. Typically, I tell students, do it the easiest way, factor it. But if you look at this, what multiplies to give you negative 2 and adds up to negative 2, it's not working. You can't factor this. So if you can't factor it, there's only other couple methods. One's completing the square, which this question is asking you. So I tell people, get your notebook, write down the formulas, the steps. Here are the explicit steps to get this thing 100% right. What I'm going to do, tell you the step. Let me show you what the step looks like when we're going to solve this. First step, move the constant to the other side. So in standard form, c is the constant. And so in this case, negative 2 and, and c, a little money green, we're going to move it to the other side. If you move something to another side with an equal sign, it changes signs. Or for those people who want more specific, if I add plus 2 to this side, I better add plus 2 to this side. Boom, x squared minus 2x equals 2. You just finished step 1 and you got partial credit. Let's continue. Step two says add the coefficient of b in bad boy blue, the thing that's in front of the x when it's in standard form, divide it by two, and then square it. But you're adding this quantity to both sides. So what's the number in front of x? It's negative two. It's in blue, that's the b that we're talking about. Divide it by two, square it. That is just a step. We're not asking you to derive it, just use the steps. You add it to both sides to keep it equivalent. Step three says simplify and factor. Okay, what's negative two divided by two? It's a negative one. What's a negative one squared? A positive one, that's what we got there. So we added a positive one to both sides. The two plus one gives me a three on the right side of the equal sign. Here you have another quadratic, but this time it's a lot easier to factor, and now it's time to factor it. What multiplies to so give you a positive one? and adds up to a negative 2. How about a negative 1 times a negative 1? So it's x minus 1 times x minus 1 is the factored form of this quadratic. What is something multiplied by itself? It's something squared. So you have x minus 1 squared equals 3. You have simplified, you factored it. Now you're down to the last step, which says use the square root theorem to solve for x. The square root theorem is a reminder if you have something, anything squared equals a number, basically you take the square root of both sides. Kicker here is the, don't forget the plus or minus. Your x will equal plus the square root of that side or minus the square root of this side. So this is where we left off. You have x minus 1 squared equals 3. Something squared equals 3. So you, you can visualize this by taking the square root of both sides, remembering the plus or minus. You could put plus or minus on either side. I like to put it on the side, away from it, the squared. What happens to a square root of a squared? They cancel. So you're left with x minus 1, took away the parentheses, equals plus or minus the square root of 3. Sometimes people get confused by the plus or minus. Watch this. This means plus square root of 3 or minus the square root of 3. Another tip, this minus 1, visualizing it, you're essentially adding plus 1 to both sides. And I tell people, add the plus 1 in front of the plus or minus. So it's going to be 1 plus square root of 3 is an answer, or x equals 1 minus square root of 3. And that's the solution to this, solving a quadratic equation by completing the square.